the field just to snap the losing streak and get a win? Well, yeah, it was very important for us to get a get a response. You know, the the win is nice. Um, you know, but I care much more about the process, and I thought our process was great. Our spirit was great. We were connected, played hard, and were willing to do the extra things, the little things, you know, especially the end. We had a tired group at the end there, guys playing a lot of minutes and, and playing a team that flies around, you know, played with pace and fly around, and they stuck with it, stuck with the task, played for each other, um, you know, rebounded the ball better and, uh, and did so many things better. So I'm really proud of the group's effort. You guys ran up a 24-point lead, and then Indiana kind of came back into it. What was your message to kind of keep the group at, at bay? Yeah, you know, they're a tough team to keep a big lead on the way they play. You know, a lot of pace, a lot of three-point shooting. They spread you out. They fly around and shoot threes, get you in transition as well. So, you know, lead's never safe for them. I was really more proud of the guys for sticking with it, having the resilience. You know, when things got tough, we were tired as well at that time. And, you know, when they came back, I think, to three, um, so I'm proud of just the overall effort and toughness, resilience, and playing together and playing hard. Joe's defensive effort the last two games seems like it's really stood out, particularly that final possession or last minute against Halliburton, really big yeah. defensive play there. Just what have you seen from him? Yeah, you know, Joe's defense has been great. Um, physical, flying around, chasing healed all over the place, then getting switched on Halliburton, getting a stop. Uh, Utah got a stop or two at the end of the game as well. You know, that's what it's going to take is everyone having that pride. You know, we certainly didn't see that in the last game. They were getting... Um, baskets and one-on-one -on -one situations and tonight we we did a much better job of that joe was great utah made some big stops and obviously i think everyone took a turn in kind of defending their men in one-on-one -on -one situations i want to ask you about utah because um i know you've had guys in and out of the lineup but how have you seen his game just mm -hmm. grow more and more well we always really liked him you know he's he's a basketball player um you know, he's got good size and length for the wing. He can handle and pass. He can make it, make shots, and uh, he's a smart defender. You know, I thought, uh, you know, he, he did a good job. He knew the scouting report, which was great. And uh, you could see him uh, use that to his advantage in one-on-one -on -one situations. And uh, uh, I think he's adds a, as a dimension to our team as we're here trying to get bodies back in the lineup. He, you know, is really important to have players like that who can step in and, and do multiple things. Steve, what did you see to Nick tonight? Uh, you know, Nick was uh, much improved. I had some, uh, you know, some, some teaching points for Nick, and he took them on board tonight and transferred, and I thought his energy, toughness, and willingness to, to work on what we, we asked was fantastic. So really proud of him and showed some growth there tonight. we keep those between me and the young fella. I apologize if you were asked already, but uh, in, your, in your view, was the spacing a lot better and in those instances, did kind of the defense feed off of mm. the offensive energy? Well, this is this is the this is the interesting part. We scored 100. We scored more points, I think, last time against them than we did tonight. So, you know, the spacing we get sometimes gets overblown. It's we're not defending, and uh, you know, we did a much better job holding that team. It's a tough team, especially when you get them down 24, and then they have nothing to lose. They're flying around, casting up threes, playing in transition, playing early. Um, so, you know, you, you, we can highlight the spacing, but really, we we scored the ball last time out as defense. Yeah, I, that's probably my fault. I probably wasn't clear enough. My guess, my point was defensively. I mean, you guys got out to a quick lead, and I'm saying you defended well throughout mm. this game when you've had the worst defense in the league mm. in this early parts of the season. Was the defensive energy and the togetherness, did that feed off of you guys, you know, hitting some shots early? It, it, it might have, but I think that was the message. You know, that was the message uh, after the game. That was the message on film this morning. That was the message in, in uh, our walkthrough. Um, you know, we, we had a disastrous defensive game uh, Saturday night, and so the guys responded, proud of them. You know, the, the effort, energy, um, you know, not only to build the lead, but when, when they had nothing to lose and came flying back, those are hard to hang on to. And uh, we had a lot of guys that were fatigued late in the game and were able to get stops. So really proud of the effort, the pride, and uh, the way they competed. Thanks, Steve. All right, thank you, guys.